Hey, good Sunday morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. Boy, do we have an active 24 hours ahead. We've got the risk for some strong storms to the south and east of the Carolinas, maybe a few getting close to the Piedmont, but the bigger story, winter is making a comeback, and we actually have some significant snow heading for parts of the Carolinas, including the North Carolina mountains. So let me show you what happened this morning. We had a pretty potent little system um, with gusty winds come through with this front, but there's another low pressure forming back here that's going to ride up the front and it's going to throw moisture back inland into what is relatively going to be a colder and colder air mass. You can actually see to the to the north of this, we've got some much colder air um, spilling in, much colder air up in these areas uh, just north of the front. Look at all that cold air. That's, that's a true taste of Arctic air coming into the middle of the country. And so the, the really warm stuff has been pushed off a little bit. We're still kind of in this mild air, but the cold air back here to the west will be arriving later tonight. Now, there still is a low-end risk for severe storms today um, for our area, and even a medium risk to the south, because what's going to happen is this front might back up a little bit, so we're, we might see the risk for some strong storms. So I think overall the risk is relatively low. I think these areas in here would be the areas of greatest concern. I'm a little bit more questioning how much of this risk shifts back to the west, but the real story, I think, beyond the you know, we've had the severe weather risk, it seems like, for a couple of days, is going to be this part of the system back here. This is wintry weather coming in from the west. That's going to arrive tonight, and that has already prompted winter storm warnings for the North Carolina mountains and winter weather advisories for parts of the foothills. And this could be significant snow, especially uh, for the higher elevations. Let me quickly show you the snowfall map of what I'm thinking right now. You could see generally along the Tennessee line, these areas in here, the Smokies up towards Rhone Mountain, all the way towards Grayson Highlands, there could be four to eight inches in those areas, maybe higher. The only thing that's gonna really cut down the totals obviously is the warm ground and a lot of melting going on. Um, based on elevation, here's a quick little look on, on where I see the heaviest snow falling. Again, above 3,500 feet, good chance of two to four, four to six, six to nine inches in the higher elevations. You get down in elevation, a lot of melting is going to occur. So there might be some wet, heavy snow that falls, but it has a tough time sticking. Um, and there could be thunder snow. That's how heavy the snowfall rates could be with this system. So let me quickly go through this and kind of show you the future cast of how this unfolds. All right, let's get to the future cast here. You can see what's happening. We've got this, you know, old front, which is basically right in here. And low pressure is going to form an upper level low back behind the front. And this is actually a pretty good setup for snow in our parts. You know, typically, you know, anytime you see a cold front come through, the model sometimes will have snow on the backside of the front. And that's fool's gold as far as snow is concerned. But with a low forming behind here, in the cold there, that's more idealistic for getting some wintry weather. So we'll go through the evening hours. Uh, the other thing I didn't mention, it is gonna be some heavy rain. Uh, the temperature will be falling. So even where the rain is falling and not snow, this is gonna be by far the biggest rain threat we've had in a while. In fact, there's some flood watches up for parts of South Carolina. So we go into the overnight hours. Again, look at all this heavy rain as the upper low gets really organized here and starts pushing in. Man, that's some heavy rain. That's why there's at least a low end risk for severe storms you see as some of that moisture comes north. We go through the overnight hours, two o'clock in the morning. Look at this band of heavy snow. And this is really gonna be a fast moving system. We would probably have much heavier snow if this was slower and the ground wasn't as warm. Um, that's the two things that really could cut down on the snowfall totals. It, it's gonna snow like crazy for a short period of time and it could really pile up quickly. You see, as we go through the overnight hours, early tomorrow morning, again, snow in the mountains, we go through time. Again, I'm not gonna be shocked if a few wet snowflakes make it down to Interstate 40 up in this area um, tomorrow morning. So, you know, nine, 10 o'clock. I doubt they'll make it down to Charlotte, but you remember, nothing's gonna stick east of the mountains. It's just too warm, um, even with that quick burst of snow. But as you get up here towards Raleigh, Greensboro, and up into the Hampton Roads, um, Richmond, you know, Virginia Beach area, yeah, there could be a good little burst of snow as this low cranks up and kind of moves off the coast. We call this a deformation zone. Um, that forms on these low pressure systems. So these bands are very narrow. They're sometimes thunder snow. They're very hard to forecast because they're like isolated bands of heavy snow. And if you're not in that band, you get nothing. But if you're under it, boy, does it come down quickly. So you could see kind of the movement of this thing as it moves off to the northeast. So by midday tomorrow, this thing is is racing off the east coast and is gone by tomorrow night. So here's a here's a 44 hour loop of this thing. You see it moving through there. So again, um, this is what I'm thinking for the North Carolina mountains and for 
the area, maybe up towards Greensboro, north of Hickory. There might be a, a quick trace up in that area, but this is where the heavy amounts, the higher in elevation you are, the further north you go, the better chance of seeing some significant snow. It's about time. It's the beginning of January and we're finally seeing some wintry weather. Of course, I will post updates throughout the day, tonight and into tomorrow morning. Make sure you stay weather aware down in South Carolina. Still potential for some strong storms later tonight. If we do see anything change, I, of course, will post an update.